Hello, this is Dr. Antazari. I'm an assistant professor of orthopedic surgery and a shoulder and elbow surgeon at Cleveland Clinic. I would like to present a case study of a triple tendon transfer for a spinal accessory nerve injury. Our patient is a 34-year-old right-hand dominant female who had history of thyroidectomy for thyroid cancer and had to undergo a radical neck dissection due to concern for local recurrence. Immediately after her surgery, she experienced severe pain in her right shoulder area and was unable to raise her arm overhead. She underwent a prolonged course of physical therapy with minimal gain in her function. As depicted in the picture on the left, the spinal accessory nerve is the 11th cranial nerve that innervates the sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscle, and its injury can lead to weakness of either of these muscles and abnormal neck and shoulder motion. On physical exam, she showed severe atrophy of right trapezius muscle with drooping of her right shoulder with a classic lateral scapular winging. The levator scapulae, rhomboid minor, and rhomboid major are three muscles that attach to the medial border of the scapula deep to the trapezius muscle. During Eden Lang procedure, these three muscles are advanced over the body of the scapula to retract and elevate the scapula. A triple tendon transfer popularized by Dr. Bassam Al Hassan stacks these muscles on the scapular spine to better replicate the lineup pull of upper, middle, and lower trapezius. Intraoperatively, we isolate these three muscles from the medial border of the scapula and reattach them on the scapular spine. After eight weeks of immobilization and four months of physical therapy, she was able to gain her overhead arm function. And here she is at one year reporting minimal pain and 95% function in her shoulder. This case beautifully demonstrates the power of a well-indicated muscle transfer surgery in a young and motivated patient and how impactful it can be on a patient's physical and mental well-being.